What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with another episode. It is, let's see, I don't know what day it is. It's November 6th, and right now it's 1 a.m. Daylight savings just occurred a few minutes ago, so it's technically 2, but now it's back to 1, so we can crank in an extra hour of doing whatever. And uh, so I got news. So finally, I told you last on the last video that we're studying physiology, and it's so exciting. Finally studying things we want to study. Now this is just like icing on the cake. Check out what I get to study right here. Uh, let's see. There we go. EKG stuffs. Finally, we get to study something interesting, actually something very clinically relevant, studying how to read EKGs and identify arrhythmias. And I gotta tell you, it's, I mean, this is why I'm up so late studying it. It is way too exciting to not study right now. Um, yeah, I know that sounds pretty, pretty darn nerdy to say, but nonetheless, I mean, it's 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 not like a you know, it's pretty complicated, I guess. But it's like for the basic stuff we're learning right now, it's pretty fun. It's like this new set of tools we get to learn, these new things we get to identify. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we got a lot of good notes. We got textbooks that have them. But I guess as all as all of our um, professors say, the best way to do it is by practicing. So I'm watching these YouTube videos. You know, YouTube's powerful, man. I'm telling you. Um, and there's like this guy, it's like a lot of MDs make these videos on how to read EKGs, and so they kind of walk you through arrhythmia so you can kind of get used to um, looking at the traces from like real patients as opposed to textbooks. Textbooks are really clean cut, they are super easy in comparison to what I've been finding online. Um, and the fun thing was that our professor actually recommended going online and practicing, practicing, and practicing. Uh, and that was something new for me, I didn't know. You know, I, I, I haven't heard a professor telling me to go check out online resources. Normally, they're like, oh, just stick with the book or just stick with the um, with the PowerPoints. So it's pretty nice to know that, you know, this notion of being able to read EKG is not limited to what's in our notes or what's in a basic textbook, but we're kind of expected to have more of a global view of it, so we're expected to go online and be able to answer all the tough questions, at least for our, for our uh, MS1 basic level. So I just want to give you guys an update. Finally, I get to say something cool like EKGs. It is super exciting. Uh, let me know if you guys have any experience with them, if you've ever had your EKG explained to you before. Um, I think I had mine explained to me once. It was pretty boring and normal, so nothing exciting there. It was pretty, pretty simple. So leave any comments below. Leave me any suggestions if you want me to make any new videos. And as always, guys, enjoy your studies.